Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in RoboZaro, a real entertaining action game developed by Frozen Flame Interactive slash East Asia Soft, published by East Asia Soft and is available for a small £5.79. Now before we begin, if you could be a legend, hit that subscribe button for way more and a great variety ton of more 100% achievement guides. Now we play as Robo Zaro, I assume that's his name to be fair, um, or Robbie for short, or Ro, or Zoro for laughs. Anyway, we just have to blast away through 11 sub-levels of crap-filled sewers. So basically it's one level of sewers with like 11 zones to get through. That's all we need to grab the full 1000 and a tiny bit of level 2 to do some slight grinding. Now most of the achievements and the trophies will come as we progress, but be mindful, there are at least 30 screws that we need to pick up, so keep your eyes peeled and your nostrils, well, sort of nostrilized. Uh, <laughs> but this will take way less than an hour, about 20 minutes or so if you can follow along with the guide, otherwise it'll only take about 30 to 40 minutes. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So you can go into your settings right here, um, there's nothing else to do, you can really just um, blast the uh, tech speed up to uh, as, as quick as you can, and then you can just keep mashing. The Y button is going to be our main best friend for some reason in the game, not rather than the A button. So just smash through the dialogue again by pressing the Y button and then we can carry on. Right then, so now we can finally go outside and we'll be getting our first achievement of the game. Just get through this little bit of dialogue here. And you see the garbage can or the uh, bin, depends on where you're from of course, right in front of you, just to the right of the robot. Press the Y button on that bin, that'll open it up, that'll get us an achievement and a screw. Remember we need to collect 30. So any sort of uh, bin that you see or garbage can, press the Y button, open it up, there's about 5 screws on this. Little bit of stretch right here and then just go into the fix and chips door right here and then go down all the way to the very right talk to him that gets us achievement number two now you've got it's, it's kind of weird to control Robbie you've actually got to press the right stick left or right to get him to turn in each opposite direction rather than you know you just go in left and right and it does it automatically so some of the buttons and things can be a little bit it, it, it takes a little minute to sort of get used to even when shooting later on but we'll get to that point when we get there. So speak to the chief right here. That'll open up the sewers. And this is where the game can properly begin then. And then drop down. So this is where we finally begin then. So just go to the right. You can click these sort of computer screens if you want. It's just um, an old professor guy telling us sort of how to do what to do. So what you got to do then, take a step back if you want, but when you jump, when you're in mid-air, press A again, and that'll sort of give you a little double jump there. So, open up this, press Y to open up the uh, sort of grate right here, or this cage, that'll get us our first weapon, and another achievement, and we can swiftly move on. But before we leave, have a look at this ATM looking thing right here. Uh, the cheapest thing we can buy is the health on the left, so grab... Grab that, that'll get us yet another achievement. You can get other stuff, but honestly, it's not really needed. So again, that, that computer screen there will just tell you how to shoot. We'll be get going through five of these yellow doors. I'm pretty sure it's story-related anyway. You have to go through five of these doors to get an achievement, but there we go. So again, you don't have to collect all these items, but you know, it just makes it easier for you. So shoot this box down right here. And we see our first enemy on the right hand side, it's sort of a turret looking thing that'll just shoot peas at you or something. Um, it's easier just to shoot the stalk so the sort of head rolls and then he, he's not able to shoot you, he just sort of tries to run away but yeah. Anyway, so shoot this second door for us to get through now and then drop down. So there's some parts which may get slightly hectic, but again, it's not all bad at all, to be fair. But you will die just a couple of times. Um, again, I shoot the head, so it sort of dies all at once, but it's probably easier for you if you just shoot the bloody stalk he's on and his head rolls. 
Anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do here, but we're just opening up the door, dropping down immediately to the left. Behind the box is another enemy, so shoot the crap out of him. Uh, grab the item and then drop down. All these spiders right here are a pain in the ass, but you need to shoot at least 10 of them to get us another achievement. And then shoot the bloody machine that uh, the <laughs> is spitting out the spiders. Once we're done with that, you can grab the items on the left, go to the right, and that is the third uh, sewer zone done. So just a quick word on the checkpoints then, if you die, and you will die a few times in the game, you will restart the zone at 50% health. Uh, it's okay though, as the zones, as you can see, are not that big at all. So as you've just seen then, we also unlocked another achievement. That is for shooting five of the eyes. Press the B button. When we get to the end of this bit, press the B button, throw a grenade at this machine right here. That'll destroy a load of spiders. It'll also unlock us another achievement as well. Make sure to kill all these spiders, open up the lever, and then get your ass through. And of course, obviously, try not to get shot all the time by those um, annoying head-looking things, but yeah, it's as easy as that. Again, if you want to just keep scouring the area just to make sure you haven't missed any screws or anything, of course, you're more than welcome to do that, because I think there's a couple that we do miss, but as I said, in Zone 2, or the second level, sorry, we will uh, grind out a little bit later. So, shoot these bloody head eye laser pistol shooting douchebags. Um, you probably, I'm genuinely, I'm the worst at jumping in this game. I'm just absolutely pathetic. So, I did actually die twice here. Um, try to do a better job than I did with it, though. <laughs> As you can see, I'm pathetic. There we go, we eventually made it to the end anyway, so <laughs> press the lever, jump up, have a look at the ATM here, uh, grab some more health or any preferred items that you want, I just stock up on health, just easier really isn't it, and cheaper, and then blast through to the right and we're on to zone 6. And here is our first mini boss, now he's not too bad when you know what he's doing, so basically these sort of heads will... Um, just sort of appear out of nowhere, and you've actually got to shoot the guy, you've got to shoot the boss in to these things. So, or you can uh, drop the spikes on him, that'll also damage him, but your gun does nothing, your gun only stuns him. So, you know, he's just waiting there, just being a dick, so, but what you've got to do then is, yeah, as soon as these sort of eyeball things spawn, you've actually got to shoot him into it, or get him to run into it, and that'll destroy him there. So that one is nice and easy then, it's, it can be a bit of a pain if you didn't know what you're doing, but yeah, yeah, it took about 10 minutes, but anyway, we're on to zone 7 now, this one is easy enough to be fair, it's literally, there's not a lot that's going on, there's a lot of these sort of eyeball things around the level, so it's literally a case of just shooting, any sort of black bags that you see, make sure to press the Y button by it, because that's some type, that'll come out with Sort of random items, and it might come out with screws that we need to get for the achievement as well. So then we have another new item with the grapple gun. Pressing the X button then will get you up. It's, it's, it's sort of a weird one to use. You've got to sort of swing yourself to the left or right as well as, you know, trying to jump off as well. It doesn't do it automatically, but again, you know, easy enough to use once, once you get used to it all. And then just happily carry on.
So right here then, use your grapple gun again, and then you can actually move up and down the rope by pressing, well, up and down on the left stick. It's as easy as that. Shoot this last yellow door then, and that'll get us another achievement. See, I told you it was sort of story related. Uh, this one, again, can be a little bit tricky. Um, if you do get onto the spice again, don't worry, you can sort of just jump off, providing you got the health. Um, I don't know what I, I was trying to get the items, otherwise I don't know what the hell I was trying to do. Shoot these boxes, jump down, and we're going to be getting a, another new weapon called the Grab and Blast. Again, very easy to use, same button as you've been using, only this time what you can do, grab it, move it into another direction, press the same button, and then that'll sort of blast it away. You know, a grab and blast, it's, it's not too much to explain, everything's on the tin right there really. Uh, so grab these boxes, move them out the way, we'll be using this quite a lot more towards... Uh, we'll be using this more as we sort of exit the game now, just um, so grab these boxes, smash them down. We need to get three boxes on this sort of main switch here um, to sort of open it up. So grab one of these boxes very carefully through the right. There we go, happy days, and that'll switch that one on. Uh, go to the right, <laughs> providing that you can and you don't mess it up like I did. That'll stay on now, and then just move the boxes from the left, step on that lever, and then you're good to go. So there's not really that much to say on this level, just jump past the spider straight away. This, I, I tell you what, I love this gun, it's, it just destroys everything and everyone with one hit. Um, just get the levers here on the right, you'll be able to go through the uh, electric sort of fence there. As you can see on the right, but before you destroy these sort of spider's nests, make sure to kill 25 of those spiders with this grab and blast gun, that'll get us another achievement. But be very important to do that. So we are coming rather close to the end now. This bit was a pain in the ass for me, to be honest. Just try and keep your distance. If it's easier for you, sort of grab the spikes and destroy the sort of eye and head things with sort of one blast. Otherwise, just try and be careful on the platforming bits as well. I died quite a few times here. So we're coming up to another mini boss now, remember the one from earlier on? Best bet to do, as soon as we jump down, just grab the spikes, ignore the rest of the enemies, get as much health as you, health as you can here, but ignore all the other enemies, grab the spikes and just throw them at this mini boss and he should be destroyed very, very quickly, as long as you ignore the other enemies.
Once he's down, destroy the rest of the enemies here, and then we are on to the sort of final boss of this area, and we are done with the complete majority of the game. Press the lever, get your ass in there, and here we go then. So grab the items if you want, which I do, and we can get into this sort of ATM thing again. Grab as much health as you absolutely can, and then when you're ready, just drop on down. And there's just a better, there's just an easy way to do this. So basically, just like we've done with the mini boss, we've obviously got to use the grab and blast and throw stuff at him. But an easy way if you don't want to get hit is just keep flying up. Just keep going up. Uh, grab these sort of, you see these green bin bag looking things? Be careful with your aiming. You know, take your time with it. Try and be quick, but take your time as well. I know that doesn't really help. Um... What, what, damages, what damages him the most is these sort of big green looking piles of junk. Um, the, the bits I was grabbing then, the small sort of bits, does, doesn't really damage him that much. Um, so yeah, just be careful with him. Just keep uh, grappling your way up if you sort of don't want to get hit. The spikes hurt him as well. But again, it's being careful because he can jump, he can move about. But as long as you sort of keep grappling up and down, you shouldn't really have an issue with this. So there we go then, bam, job is a good one. So we've only got a little bit to do now, we've got to sort of find our way up. There's the uh, item that we're needing on the left, the sort of next weapon, but we're, what we're going to do first is go into the right, into this sort of trailer looking thing and speak to a robot. So then that grabs us the Mega Charge Gun. Now, you can't actually use the sort of Robo Claw or the Grapple Gun. You can only use it sort of once at a time. And to change any weapons, press the left button. And then you've actually got to click A when you're on the weapon that you actually want. So we are going up then. So what you need to do is just grab the... Um, not, not the Grab and Blast, you need the Robo Claw. And then we can finally head our way up. <laughs> but we, yeah, so you've actually got to press A twice on it, which is why it probably doesn't work then. Then you can get the Mega Charge on the go. And then just blast it out of the way. Absolutely lovely. So like I said, we've only got a little tiny bit of grinding left to do. Again, if you're stuck, you'll have to keep switching between weapons, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass, really. Uh, grab, grab and blast your way through this saw, but there are basically ten mini robots that we need to... Um, be fighting and killing so what we'll do is sort of uh, I think it's three or four we'll kill then we'll die and we just start off at that sort of same bit so it's easy enough and then plus we'll also be getting the 30 screws as well so it literally takes about a minute of grinding even if that shoot the saw up there so we can jump down now this is the part where we begin with the 10 mini bots just grab <laughs> Grab the mini bots and throw them. You've actually got to kill them with that big pile of rubbish there. They don't actually die if you just do it. If you just actually shoot them. So fly up. Don't kill that turret. That turret is what we need. Uh, grab the screws, like I said as well. And then when you think that you're all done, just die with this turret. And then it's as easy as that. Voila!
So yeah, this is where I will unlock the next achievement for killing the mini robots. So just want to say thank you so very, very much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you've enjoyed the game. I hope you've enjoyed the guide as well. You've had a few laughs along the way. Uh, if you did enjoy it, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Obviously, check me out on my socials as well. I'm obviously on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, of course, for free game giveaways every now and again. And also, I just want to say an absolutely massive thank you to Tim G84 for supporting me on Patreon. Very, very much appreciated, that is. But that is that for now, guys and gals. So again, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, big, huge shout out and thank you to Tim G84. You're an absolutely legend. But I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.